Welcome to July Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets. Now breaking down to bite-sized pieces. Today, I want to talk to you and bring you somebody that uh, has been in the game for quite some time. Uh, this is Diddy from the Bitcoin family, and he has been uh, investing in Bitcoin since 2013. And he's going to give us a, a lot of uh, subjective information uh, about what is going on before, now, and, and what could potentially go on in the future. And just so you know, uh, Bit, uh, Diddy's kind of like me. Uh, we both love Bitcoin. We have a different approach in how we invest into it. We're going to talk about that. But uh, we both have a similar, actually, price prediction. Mine is Bitcoin is at, at around 150 k by the end of the year. And Diddy is somewhere between 121 and 200000 uh, by the end of this year. So really... We're, it's, it's the same type of message that we've been trying to share with everybody, and that is that we're going to get there to the promised land, just that it's going to take a little bit of time, and there's going to be some major dips. And you have to understand that even Diddy has talked about and said uh, in his recent video that uh, he can see a retracement of 40%. So I know that sounds scary for some people where they say, man, uh, it was at 40000 and to and retrace uh, you know, 40%, we could be looking at 22000 well, that's exactly right. That's exactly what's going to happen. But I have to remind everybody a couple of things. First of all, you don't lose anything unless you sell. And uh, the second thing is we're going to talk about dollar cost averaging, which is my way that I do things. I've been dollar cost averaging uh, every day, every three days, every week, depending on the cryptocurrency for the last four years. And uh, Diddy has got the exact opposite. He's like, you know what, just go all in. And uh, we're going to actually marry the two. And I'm going to tell you exactly what we came up with. So let's jump right in and uh, talk to Diddy. All right, everybody. So welcome back to the office. Uh, today, there are some strange times ahead, right? We have gone through a lot of different instances of uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency assets going up and down. And uh, some people are a little bit frightened. And I can understand, especially if you are new to the game. So what I did was I reached out to my friend Diddy. Uh, also from also known as the uh, the Bitcoin family to give us some insights as to not what is going on right now, which is great insight, but what has gone on before in the past, what's going on right now, and potentially what's going to happen in the future. So Diddy, welcome to the show. Thanks for coming back on. I appreciate it. Uh, and thank you for inviting me again, Rob. And it's uh, always an honor to be on your show, man. And I love uh, I love to educate those new people because I have the same problem on my tweets. People are freaking out and they should start to zoom out. So um, I'm, I'm very happy to be able to do this in your show again. Awesome. So here's what we're going to do. Let me share my screen real quick. Let's take a look what the price is today. So today it is January 12th. It is 9.30 a.m. El Paso, Texas time. I don't know where Diddy is. He's all over the place. No, he's in Portugal. I don't know what, what the time is over there. But uh, this is what we got right now. So Bitcoin was at what? 41, 42. And yeah. now we're at 34, 35. But we were down to almost 30,000 uh, at one point. So a nice little rebound, right? Beautiful, beautiful pullback, a very healthy pullback, the <laughs> ones we need. Because yeah. if we don't do this, it's, uh, it's impossible to only go up, 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 you know, then where do we end? <laughs> exactly, where do we end? To hopefully to, to a million, like, uh, like, like some people think it's going to go to. So this was the thing. I actually had Diddy on the show. Uh, this was back in December 2020. And I actually put that into my 100% free website, Dan Teaches Crypto. And you can see it right here. And we called it DCA versus all in because Diddy here, he, he went in all in uh, years ago. And then I have been slowly dollar cost averaging after I lost my tail uh, when, I, when I got in at the very top of 2017. So the reason why Diddy's here, Diddy, take us back real quick. Take us back to when you first started, you heard about Bitcoin, and maybe you had uh, got an interest into it. So was it around this time between January 2012 and 2015? Maybe you heard about Bitcoin? Um, yeah, it was around 2013 when I first started mining Bitcoins. Holy smokes. And it was around 2014, around the first crash. I started Bitcoins out of fear because I thought, oh, $1,200 crashing to $200. I'm going to lose my investment. And when I started to sell my Bitcoins for Twelve hundred dollars for two hundred, three hundred dollars at that time. No uh, way. To, yeah, to break even. Mm -hmm. And then um, two thousand fourteen. Yeah, the, yeah, some things in, in life happened, so I didn't spend time to Bitcoin. Two thousand fifteen, I didn't spend time to Bitcoin. And in two thousand sixteen, again, Bitcoin uh, came onto my path again, um, and I started to realize I still had a few Bitcoins and the millions of Doge coins, uh, and they started to grow in value. And that was the end of two thousand sixteen, beginning of two thousand seventeen. Yeah. 
we will get into Doge into another video. I gotta, I gotta talk to you about that. Cool. That was interesting. So, <laughs> so this is the thing. So everybody here who is, uh, who's really scared and frightened, just remember that everything goes in a cycle. And Diddy figured this out and a lot of smart people figured it out. And it always goes, to me, what it looks like is having all-time high dip reset. You got a having all-time high dip reset. And now we're coming into now, 2021. We just went through a having and we're going to an all-time high. So um, when Diddy did this, I believe he probably was kicking himself when he let go of those Bitcoins around here. Right, Diddy? Yeah, of course. Of course, when I let go in 2014, that was not the best timing. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't matter how smart you are, how savvy you are. We have all been there, right? I've even done it myself. So as time has gone on, now we are here, Diddy. Now we're here. Yeah. So what's, what's your advice for everybody uh, moving forward into what could potentially happen? Okay, so what happened after 2014, you know, then, then you, got, you got 2014 was a bearish year. 2016 was that sideways year, in my opinion, the same year that we had now in 2020. And then 2017 became this bull run. And we stepped in from the beginning of 2020 till the middle of 2020, that part indeed. And if you zoom back into that year, we had like multiple runs of 200% and multiple crashes of 40%. So it was an emotional roller coaster for us as well. But we were like, okay, we believe in Bitcoin. We believe it will go up in the end. So zoom out. Uh, look at the monthly charts and you can see that we are always going up. Yes, we have some crashes you know, to to create a healthy market. And I think now we still see the same. 2020, I think, is comparable with 2016. We started to grow again positive with Bitcoin after a huge bear market. And now in 2021, we will be copying 2017, four years later. It's a four-year cycle and we top every time in the fourth year in December. So that would be December 2021. I find it really interesting that if you take the charts and you uh, create 12 monthly candles out of the charts, then you always have three green candles, now one red candle. And this red candle is the bearish year. And then you get the first green candle, the second green candle, and the third green candle. Mm -hmm. This third green candle is always the tallest candle. And that one is the candle that we are going to make now in 2021. And uh, so if you look in trading view and you zoom out to that, it's really beautiful to see that the cycles, you, you have one red bearish year, three green bullish years, one red bearish year, three green. So I think we are now going to go into this last green candle, which will make a new all-time high in Bitcoin, way much higher than we see now. Fantastic. So what I'll do is I'm going to ask you for those charts because you're the master of those. Yeah. And I'm going to splice those into the video so people can know what you're talking about. But it totally makes okay. sense to me. And, and this is why I had Diddy on because I can only tell you back to my experience in 2017. But Diddy can take you back even farther than that. And if we take a look at the past, we can kind of get a look at what's going on now and what could potentially happen. So I think we're in for a good time. That's what I think. I, anyhow. I, I think we will be in for an amazing time. I have, I, have, I have another chart. I will send you that one as well. And that is how you can see in, in, in 2017, when we look back to 2013, 2013 still looked like a huge you know, movement on the chart. And then when 2017 grew bigger and bigger, 2013 like seemed to be a small hop into the charts. Right. Now, 2017 was the biggest mountain, the biggest run in the chart. Now, because of 2021, there's another run up to 40K. We can already see the 2017 run decreasing to a small hump again. And 2013 is almost invisible. So I believe the 2070 hump we see now will be even smaller when we end this bull run. It's a really cool chart. Yeah, I will show you that one as well. <laughs> awesome. I will take that. So then, the, then before we take off, I want to talk about real quick about what we talked about in our original show when we talked about DCA versus all in. Because Diddy... He's, he's like me, he, he believes in Bitcoin, but he's unlike me as he went all in. And I am more like a dollar cost averager. So, so we went back and forth a little bit. And then at the end, uh, Diddy had some good advice. He goes, you know what? He goes, instead of if, you're, if you don't wanna do my thing, you know, because you can't give financial advice, all that good stuff. He said, why don't you just take a big lump of whatever you have and then dollar cost average that into it. So I was thinking to myself, that's a pretty good idea. So you can either do what Diddy does and just say, selling my house, I'm selling my kidneys, I'm selling everything, and I'm gonna put it all, I'm gonna put it all on Bitcoin at one point and then let it ride, baby. Or you can be like me, dollar cost average, or you can uh, marry the two together. And I was thinking about this. If I would have done this, 
I would have been way ahead because Diddy, this is where I went. I actually went all in right around here. This is when I went all in and then I, I crashed down. But what if I could have done this? What if I could have taken, let's just keep uh, very simple. Let's take $6,000 and for, and every two weeks I put in a thousand bucks. If I would have put in a thousand here, then maybe a thousand here, then a thousand here, a thousand here, a thousand here, a thousand here. Is that six roughly? I would have been okay instead of just going all in. Now, if I would have been smart, I would have put it in all, all in here. Or if I was really, really smart, which I'm not, I would have put it all in back here, but I can't find that. So I, I would just say like this, this is, this is, this is my, my philosophy. You can be like Diddy, you can be a little like me, you can be right in the middle, it's whatever you wanna do, but I think you can't go wrong if you put into Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies and some digital assets, the smart ones. Diddy, what do you think? I, I, since I've been on your show, I've of course also been thinking, and a lot of people are asking me the difference, and I've been educating you because people are a lot afraid to go all in, and I tell them, then do the step in between. Then dollar cost average into it, but first sell everything you own, then you have this bag of money, because most yes. people don't have the bag of money separate, you know, they, they have a house and overvalue and everything. Sell it, you have the bag of money, start to live a, a beautiful decentralized traveling life, a dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin. And if you really believe in Bitcoin, going to 100K or 200K, you only need to have like, if you invest 100K now, one Bitcoin left mm -hmm. in two years time, because then you're breaking even again with your investment <laughs> while you live the beautiful life. Right. So your dollar cost average into the, yeah, I, 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 since you educated me, I'm educating some secure people as well, again, on the dollar cost averaging. See, it's perfect. And then act, and so, so great, it all works out. And then when, when, when me and Diddy talked, this is in December 2020, if I would have went all in, it'd have been perfect timing, right? It really would have been. Uh, but unfortunately, like my case sometimes is different as, as well as everybody else. Like I have to keep some uh, liquidity for my businesses. And then also, uh, because like, if I want to do like business loans and things like that, the bank has to has see to certain see. things and I got to still deal with the banks. We're not there with DeFi yet. I think we're going to get there at some point, but, but here we are. And I can only take so many loans against my crypto. So that's it. But yeah, there's a lot of options out there. So Diddy, uh, thanks for coming on and easing everybody's fears. It's always good to have you here and you're welcome back anytime. Anything else we should know? Uh, yes, I always say the same, man. Don't freak out, but zoom out when it comes to charts and start to freak out when you're not zooming in at life. You need to zoom in at life and enjoy every single minute of the day and start of watching the charts every single minute of the day because that will make you freak out. Awesome, awesome. So everybody, <laughs> uh, in the link in the description, there's gonna be a link to Diddy's channel, go check it out. The Bitcoin family, they travel everywhere, they do uh, pretty cool stuff and uh, you can just learn from one of the masters out there. Diddy, thanks for coming on, I really appreciate it. Thanks for inviting me, have a beautiful day.